Most people think of verbs as action words, but there are actually two main types, action verbs and stative verbs. And stative verbs are not action words in the typical sense. But what exactly is the difference and how do we use these words correctly? First up, what are action verbs? Action verbs, also known as dynamic verbs, describe an action performed by a person, animal or object. This can be a physical action, such as a ballerina leaping across the stage, or a mental action, such as thinking or learning about something. These are action verbs because they describe an action or process. They also have a duration, meaning they take place over a period of time and have a starting and an ending point. Verbs like these can be used in the continuous tenses. This means that they have ing forms, which you can use alongside a helper verb such as are or were. For instance, we could change leap into are leaping for the continuous present tense. Or we could change learned into were learning for the continuous past tense. This isn't something you can do with stative verbs, so it can be a helpful way for you to tell them apart. But what are stative verbs? Stative verbs, also known as state verbs, can refer to thoughts, emotions, qualities, perceptions, or relations. They all describe a state of being or how something is. For example, when I say I love grammar, I'm not referring to something I'm doing right now, nor is it something that has a specific duration. Instead, love refers to my emotional state. Similarly, if I say this elephant weighs a ton, I'm not talking about something the elephant is doing currently. The verb weighs instead describes a quality or state of being of the elephant. Since stative verbs don't refer to actions with a duration, you can't use them with the continuous tense. For instance, it would sound strange to say the elephant is weighing a ton. When you're referring to something or someone's physical or mental state, then you'll usually want to avoid the continuous tense. However, some verbs can be active or stative. Let's look at some examples now of words that can work both ways. Depending on context, some verbs can be either active or stative. Take smell, for example. If I say he smells of cheese, I'm using smell as a stative verb in the simple present tense to describe what somebody smells like. This isn't a dynamic, ongoing action that somebody is actively performing. Rather, it's a state or quality of the person. But smell can also be used to describe the act of sniffing something. If I say he smells the flowers, I'm using smell as an active verb. And this is an action with a duration that someone performs. The rule about not using continuous tense with stative verbs still applies with words that can either be active or stative. Using smell as our example again, I could say he is smelling the flowers, but I couldn't say he is smelling of cheese. The key difference is between a state of being and an action someone is performing. And there you go. If you followed the video, you should now have a clearer understanding of the difference between active and stative verbs. If you do have any specific questions though, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more weekly tips. Your writing proof.